But I have one question for you also. Yes. When you were the chief minister, Mr. Yeah. Current Chief Minister of Nagaland, Mr. Nip Yurio, yeah. was your minister. He was your minister. Yes. Right. And after some time, after 2000, you know, in the, uh, in, after some years of having been ruled, ruling the Nagaland state with you, I think he defected from your party and joined other group, the NBF. And he took over and he defeated your party under your leadership. So how did the rivalry between you and Nifirio start? I, we don't, we, actually, we, I don't know why he went. Okay. But we were, actually, when Adam wrote uh, threatening letter to all my cabinet mm -hmm. to resign and then um, now to change me. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all, when uh, this, he was my home minister, mm -hmm. Rio stood behind me. Hello everyone. Today I'm joined by Mr. or Dr. S. E. Jamir, who has been, who had worked and served the Nagaland state as the Chief Minister of Nagaland, and he has been the only Naga so far who has worked or who has given his service as the governor of three states in India. So we are extremely privileged, and we are happy that he joins um, in our interaction and conversation today, and we'll deal a lot of on the Naga politics that be it government of Nagaland or be it Naga political issue or anything that is related to the state of Nagaland as well as anything that is related to the politics. So, sir, thanks, thanks so much for joining me in this conversation. Thank you. <clears throat> and I've been looking for this opportunity to have this conversation because you have been sharing a lot of your you know, uh, point of views related to the state of Nagaland as well as the Naga political issue. But before we jump into that, I really want to know um, what are you up to nowadays? What have you been doing after retirement? Well, as a retired person, old man, oh. I feel absolutely free from all the responsibilities mm -hmm. because now I owe to nobody, but I owe to the people and, the, and God only. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I am really living a natural life as a retired man. Mm -hmm. uh, that is relaxed and totally free from all responsibilities. Yes. So what do you look forward to as a 91-year-old man? Pardon? What do you look forward to now in life? Well, I am fully satisfied mm -hmm. that I have been able to serve the people of Nagaland and the country to the best of my ability during which God has been very kind to me mm -hmm. because I was saved four times from assassination mm -hmm. from underground. Mm -hmm. And now I'm really living a borrowed life mm -hmm. given to me by God. Mm -hmm. So I'm extremely grateful, thankful to the Almighty mm -hmm. for preserving my life up to date. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that you mentioned about the four times assassination attempts, yes. why did they think underground people do that? Why did you think underground people do that? On what ground? I'll tell you when we discuss about politics. Okay, interesting. Yeah. So you have been the lone survivor when it uh, comes to the signatories, 21 signatories of the 16 point agreement, which has led to the creation of Nagaland state. And most all, all of your colleagues have passed away as time passes. Do you still believe in the idea of Nagaland, which is under always dispute through media or you know in the social discourse, in political discourse? Do you still believe in the idea of the Nagaland state, or what is your take on it? Many a time, those people who are not born, who are too young, they are making comment. Mm -hmm. on how statehood came into being. Honestly and very sincerely, I'll tell you and to the people. Naga people, from the very beginning, they had a vision of Nagaland, their homeland. Mm -hmm. And before 
India became free, mm. along with the race of the colonial countries, even including India, in Naga people also fought for their homeland. And this was a dream mm. of our leaders of the past, mm. that Naga should have a land where they'll be recognized mm. as a people, mm -hmm. where they can exercise their power and functions freely according to their custom mm -hmm. and their way of life. And also to preserve their religion, which is called Christianity. Mm -hmm. All this idea, all these visions were there in the minds of those leaders who fought for freedom of Nagaland. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, in the midway, differences arose between themselves. Mm -hmm. And they started suspecting each other. They started um, killing each other. Mm. And that has created a very great cleavage mm. between Naga society, mm. agri families, mm. and also those people who have killed those uh, innocent people. Mm. And that was one of the, I think, dark spot in Naga moment. And not only that, the national Naga National Council's aims and objective was to struggle through non-violence and democratic means. But when the situation arose because of armed conflict, naturally Indian security forces were deployed and as soldiers, whatever they had done, it was through might. Mm. And the Naga people have to suffer burning up houses, yeah. burning up granaries, mm. and then herding men folks to jail, mm. engage them in forced labor, and then grouping of villages. Mm. And Naga people have really suffered, unseen, unknown, unloved, uncared by the world. And that was a situation when Fizu was outside the country mm. and his own followers didn't know about his whereabouts. Mm. And therefore, a situation was created in 1955, 56, 57, where the entire movement was crippled. Mm. Because when villagers were burned, villagers were stockaded, naturally, they couldn't get any help from the villagers. At the same time, the pressure from the Indian security forces was so much that our people become completely helpless. And to be very frank, they used to tell us something should be done to salvage the situation. So it was the church leaders, government servants, and those leaders who were overground, they started consulting themselves that if we continue this situation, and if we surrender, then we have to go back to Assam as Naga Hills district again, mm -hmm. which was too humiliating mm. for Naga pride. And therefore, a way out has to be worked out mm -hmm. in order to escape this humiliation. Mm -hmm. And therefore, leaders of overground, church leaders, government servants, Nagas, they have serious consultation among different tribes. Mm. So to cut, cut it short, yeah. in order to salvage the political hopes and aspirations of the Naga people, mm. 
Nagar People's Convention mm. and Ravine so that we can have our own identity okay. by having a separate state of our own mm. Mm. where we shall have our own representative government to shape the future of our people. Mm. Because the Constitution of India mm. provides maximum autonomy to state mm. and below independence, mm. statehood is the only minimum demand for Nagai people. Mm. And therefore, we have decided to form this statehood. Mm. And since 1964, we are running the state by the representative mm. of the Nagai people. Mm. That is regarding this uh, statehood. Right. You may be asking about integration. Integration. Yeah. Inclusion of other Naga tribes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. In the 16 point agreement, mm. we have made integration of Naga areas was one of the this uh, demand. Mm. When we placed this uh, point to the government of India mm. in 1960 with the Prime Minister, mm. they said government of India cannot unilaterally slice any state mm -hmm. unless there is consensus mm. among the concerning states, mm. it is not possible. Okay. Creation of Nagaland, it was because Assam Assembly has passed a unanimous resolution. Mm. So also Meghalaya, mm. so also Mizoram. Mm. So it requires the concerned states concern. Whereas in the case of uh, Nagaland, Manipur said they are not going to give even an inch of land. Mm -hmm. So also Assam, mm -hmm. so also Arunachal. And they are all equal members of Indian family. And therefore, they said, unless there is consensus, they cannot have integration. But in 1964-5, when ceasefires were declared, it governed Okrul, Tamenglong, Senapadi, all this. At that time, informally, we used to discuss with uh, <coughs> Naga leaders of uh, Manipur. Mm. At that time, those senior leaders were there. Okay. Then they also expressed, yes, it is nice to hear about integration of Naga areas. Mm. And I'm telling you the facts which they have expressed. Okay. On. I'll not name them because yeah. I consulted many of them. Right. They said, all the Nagas, whether it is Dangols or Maos or uh, this, um, anybody, mm. political leaders, businessmen, mm. bureaucrats, all of them, they have heavily invested in Imphal Valley. Okay. Our future is now completely invested in Imphal Valley. Okay. If integration takes place, whether Manipur will allow us to stay there or not, mm. number one. Mm. Secondly, if integration takes place, whether your people also can give us mm. equivalent land to us or not. Mm. Because integration means you have to bring your own, mm. uh, yeah. not to give. Mm. So that's uh, the practical problem. Mm. That is the reason why, mm. even though we have passed four resolutions in uh, assembly, we waited for 20 years. And during interim party, we sent the Chitin Chamer. She, uh, he was she, he was also executive councillor, okay. minister rank, yeah. to Uhurul. Mm. And that meeting was arranged by ML Company. He was uh, because Manipur was Union Territory. It was uh, yes. So Until ML Company arranged that uh, meeting. Okay. Then Chitin told us that uh, when he went there, big meeting, he told them. We got a state for us because we have already included this uh, integration. 
So we want to have your views, opinion on this. Okay. But uh, people replied, we are very happy that you got a state, mm. but we are quite satisfied, happy in Manipur. Mm -hmm. And therefore we are not going to join. Okay. So he came back with that negative. Okay. So why? Because they have their own problem. Yes. And this was spearheaded only after joining this Moeba and other group. Why? Okay. They have joined as students. They don't have investment in Bingo, Addis um, in Hal Valley, okay. nor in Ukuru, nor anybody. Uh -huh. So they join, join as students. Huh. Okay. Therefore, they are talking about integration. Mm. But I believe um, the problem which many of the leaders face there, mm -hmm. they, are, they are not facing. Huh. Mm. But they, they, they speak so much, but uh, they should also understand mm. the practicability of this mm -hmm. one mm. and views of the government of India. Because they told us okay. that unless there is consensus, it's not possible. Okay. And they were told the same thing, that's why, whether it is framework or extra position, mm. neither sovereignty mm. nor integration is there. Mm. And when Naga people wants want sovereignty, yeah. We have never asked flag or constitution. Hmm. Which automatically comes with sovereignty. Because yeah. once you become sovereign, yeah. then it is a tribute uh, of this uh, sovereign it country. Is, it is. But after burying sovereignty, integration, now they are talking about this uh, flag. Because I don't know, I don't understand the <laughs> logic okay. of this also. Okay. Let us be frank. Yeah, let us be. Let us be frank. Let's, oh. let's say what yeah. we think. Yeah. If sovereignty is this, yes. Hmm. But when they have even buried this uh, sovereignty mm. in Dimabor. Okay. On 29th uh, February 2012. Okay. That day, in the speech of General Kole, mm -hmm. who read out in the presence of Isaac, Moeba, mm. all the leaders there. Okay, okay. Moeba told us mm. that because of international situation, mm -hmm. Naga and is not possible. Mm. And because of the Policy of government of India and Myanmar, mm. integration was not possible. Okay. He told. Okay. All of them were there. I see. So that day itself, they have buried both sovereignty and integration. Mm. And as a matter of fact, we can treat 29 February 2012 mm. as the greatest funeral huh, <laughs> conducted by Naga people. Okay, for sovereignty. Uh, yeah, sovereignty and uh, integration. Okay. So they should be frank. Mm -hmm. um. Now, I want to comment on this um, both uh, agreements. Both the recent agreements. Yeah. Under the present circumstances. Okay. That is the only way that they can do it. Mm. And the people know it. So, we, is, the people are not naive now in politics. Okay. Mm. okay. So they should also now, we have fought. We have struggled, but under the present situation, mm. then this is the only possible way that we work out. Mm. I think Naga people will be very happy. Yes, mm. you are telling the truth. Oh. Naga people are just keeping silent because they know the contents of all this. Yeah. And why should they talk about English phrases, English words, mm. sovereignty, mm. identity? Okay. Ah. When, when nothing is there, why, why should talk about this uh, language? Right. But now, given a chance, if you were to provide some solutions for Nagas, what is the ideal solutions that you imagine for the Nagas in order to bring complete peace in the Naga areas? You see, they have agreed for this Territorial Council for Manipur okay. and Arunachal. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you read... Um, this uh, article 244a okay. is quite powerful also. Okay. Maybe a that pattern only. Mm -hmm. It is like a six utile only. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is actually it is a state. Uh, so people don't read properly. Mm -hmm. There you can shape your destiny. Uh. Okay. And since whether it is Nagaland or Manipur mm -hmm. or Ornajal or Assam, mm -hmm. Nagas are also Indian citizens. Yeah. We are not different from others. Mm -hmm. 
So if you are happy in your state, why should it disturb Asia there also? Mm -hmm. And when government of India told very clearly that sovereignty and is not possible, mm -hmm. then Moib also should realize mm -hmm. that he has got voice in Manipur, not in Nagaland. Mm -hmm. Leave the future of Naga people to the Naga people. Mm -hmm. Why should be an obstacle? Mm -hmm. If he has to do something good in South Naga, let him do it. Mm -hmm. But why should he sit over mm -hmm. the problem of Naga when they have already agreed that integration is not there? So why should why why, why should he disturb the Naga people also? Mm -hmm. So let us be very practical yes. and honest also. Right. And in the past, leaders like Risang, mm. Pope Cutting, mm. Romeo, Ramasar Ram Sauza, Brongo, NV, Solomon, all this, mm. we were like brothers. Huh? Colleagues. Yeah, yeah. all this. Mm. But when Moeba group started, he started killing mm. leaders. I Even Okro, I, I think they have killed more than 200. Mm. Even in Okuro also. Like that? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh. okay. So, killing by Naga by Nagas, how can you expect unity, mm -hmm. understanding, mm -hmm. harmony? Okay. And is a moment to kill our people. Mm. Because uh, NNC's policy was non-violence, democratic means. Mm. And therefore, the methodology which they have copied from China, uh, China communists. Okay. This has destroyed Naga people. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you say it about the killings. So huh? you, you were talking about the killings. Yeah. And you have mentioned about four times assassinations of your life. Attempt, an assassination attempt on your life. So it now it, it, it fair, it's very fair enough for me to conclude you know, pre assume that you and Mr. Muiva had been a big rival since the time of your political or since the formation of Nagaland State in the 1963. So this rivalry has grown more bitter. Muiva joined only in uh, okay. 19, uh, this, uh, only in the six, uh, only after ceasefire only. Okay. Yeah. So, but, he was a okay. student when I was a minister. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, but then after he joined, the rivalry had begun. I don't know it, how okay. how it came. <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. yeah, I, I have never met him. Only once I met him. Where, where did you meet him? I was, when I was governor of this uh, Maharashtra. Okay, okay. In Delhi. In Delhi. That day, mm -hmm. hmm, I'll tell you. Please tell us how, no. how, how that situation was. I told him. Okay. You are negotiating for so many years, mm. but no solution. What is it? it? It seems that you don't know how to negotiate. Then he got angry. Okay. Then he said, I told government of India not to put any conditions so that I also don't raise issue of sovereignty. Mm. Adam was there. Okay. Pungti was there. All of them were there. Mm. So I said, Ari, in Hebron you said uh, sovereignty. But we are demanding uh, sovereignty from India. But if you don't raise uh, here, that means you are betraying our people. Okay. I told him very frankly. Oh, I see. So in his heart of ours, no sovereignty. Okay. Hmm. He came out, and I'm not the only one. My people were there, Adam was there, Pungti was there, all of them were there. So why should he play for, uh, bluff our people also? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I even uh, asked him, mm. Naga problem is not a factional problem. It is not. But your affection, I told him. Okay. Hmm. Because there are so many other group here. So you are a faction. So faction cannot solve Naga problem. I don't, you know, front, uh, face to face, I said. Mm -hmm. So uh, he said, how can you say that uh, it's a faction? I said, then what is your mandate? I asked him. Mm -hmm. Then he said, plebiscite. I said, no. Plebiscite was done by us when we were in class nine mm -hmm. under the auspices of Naga National Council. Okay. And this continues to be the property of Naga National Council. Mm -hmm. So you don't have, pro it, is, it is not your property. But he said, uh, I have consulted um, Nagahoho, Mother Association, mm -hmm. and I said, yes, you might have. Mm -hmm. But they also don't have mandates. So it is like uh, 
zero mathematics. Okay. Even thousand zero is equal to only zero. Mm -hmm. But they have been saying that still some section of the people or the majority of, pe of the people are with them. I don't know whether they are with them or okay. not. We don't know. Okay. Uh, we don't know. Oh, uh, we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, you know, it has been very enlightening to listen to all your, the, the version of your site. And that's, a, that's, you know, something that we don't read in the paper every day. So now let's see about the, you know, Naglen upcoming election. And your Congress, the party, Congress party has ended their regime after, you know, you stepped down as the chief minister. And why do you think Congress has not well, awakened until today? To be very frank, yeah. even that time, I am took full of this uh, participation there. Okay. Yeah. Even in Berlin area, mm. uh, it is the only women folk who fought them. That it was a terrible uh, this um, election that mm -hmm. time. Okay. Yeah, and they are demanding sovereignty, but why should they? Every time, why should they participate uh, in different election? That also a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So are you are you are you attributing the loss of Congress or the weakening of Congress Party in Naglen to the disturbance or interference of the underground groups? Well, people. Especially in small tribe, a small state, they always want to be in ruling. See, mm. 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 this um, Arunachal, when Congress, all Congress, when BG, all BG. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, and even Nagaland also, we're only talking about um, ruling party, ruling party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no ideology. Mm. Mm. It, that's true. That's very true. There's no ideology. <laughs> no, don't get that. We just go by who is ruling in the center. Yeah. There's no ideology. Yeah. Mm. But I have one question for you also. Yes. When you were the chief minister, Mr. Yeah. Karan, chief minister of Naglin, Mr. Nip Yeah. was your minister. He was your minister. Yes. Right? And after some time, after 2000, you know, in the, uh, in, after some years of having been ruled, ruling the Naglin state with you, I think he defected from your party and join other group, the NPF, and he took over and he defeated your party under your leadership. So how did the rivalry between you and Nifirio start? I, we don't, we, actually, we, I don't know why he went. Okay. But we were, actually, when Adam wrote a uh, threatening letter to all my cabinet mm -hmm. to resign and then um, now to change me. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all, when uh, this, he was my home minister, mm -hmm. Rio stood behind me. I see. He didn't change. Okay. Many. Even he wrote threatening letter to all the, our, our cabinet ministers. Mm -hmm. They showed to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so those people, they were camping in the, uh, Delhi to change me, mm -hmm. but they couldn't change. Yeah. Okay. So, in the, but that time, Rio stood. Um, Solidly behind me. Okay. That's when Adam, he was commander in chief, yeah. came to me to boycott the election. I said, No, I have taken oath in the name of God. Mm -hmm. Oh, your friend, yes, they are betraying God. Mm -hmm. so we met actually that time. Mm -hmm. But I said, No, I will not change. Why should I, I change uh, my oath uh, which I have taken in the name of God? Okay. Okay. So, this is the way that uh, we have functioned, mm -hmm. and uh, it is through circumstances that mm -hmm. uh, Rio and Terry they went at that time okay. away from okay. me, and then uh, with uh, this uh, Moeba group. Mm -hmm. Even that time, actually, single majority was mine. Okay. But when I was asked by government, no, 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 I don't like to buy this um, MLS. Mm -hmm. If people have lost confidence, okay. let other people take. I refuse to uh, uh, form the government. But are you worried? Are you worried that your own party, Congress Party in Nagaland, has not been in power for the last two decades? Are you worried about it? You know, politics is a vicious circle only. Yeah, it is. Uh, it will come. Unpredictable. Yes, yes. Mm. Because during our time, mm. in parliament, PGB only five members. Yeah, true. Now they are two-thirds. Yeah, uh, yeah. 
So politics, you cannot uh, say okay. like, it depends upon situation. Okay. Um. Okay. And now your own party, I read, you know, in some media, uh, print media that, you know, your party has been criticized, you have been strongly criticized by your party in the early 2000 and the late 2000 about your book that you published, The Bedrock of Naga Society, which says that Nagas don't need to fight for sovereignty. So it was a more focus was given on that. Yeah, yes, that time. What do you comment? But now many people are asking that book. Okay. Like, why do they ask? Whatever I have said is coming true. Okay. I'll give you a copy also. I would love to read. Yeah. I would love to read. <laughs> that has been the thought. I'll also give you. Yeah, uh, I would uh, love to read yeah. that book as well. Because uh, actually, I have only pointed out. Okay. That time, I asked some underground leaders. They came to me okay. to withdraw that um, book. book. So I said, yes, if you can uh, answer my questions. Okay. I said, okay. Nagas have never been in the same government. You, you see, time immemorial. That is wrong. We were brought together only by British mm -hmm. and missionaries. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Even after that, a big junk of this uh, Twinsangra was an administered area. Yes. Mm. So how can you say that Nagas were Sovereign from time immemorial. Mm -hmm. Then from which AD or BC you should tell me. Mm -hmm. Then I said that, uh, I cannot say. Oh, then you have failed in one subject. I'll ask you another question. If it was a sovereign um, country, mm. what was the capital? Mm. Then uh, he said Kohima. No, 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 Kohima is a capital, British capital. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can't claim. And it was only 18. Uh, 1858 uh, or like this, uh, 64. Uh. Mm. And you are talking about time and Okay. So it is British capital, not your capital. Okay. Or then you fell in two subjects. Mm. If it was a sovereign country, mm. was it a democracy mm. or autocracy okay. or theocracy? Uh, theocracy? Tell me. Okay. Uh, that I don't know. Uh, then you have failed in three subjects. Fourthly, I'll ask you. If a government, sovereign government is there, you should have communication. Mm. What was the language? Uh, mm. Because ours speak a little bit of Sema, mm. Lota, mm. and Sangtam, mm. and Konyak. Okay. But we don't know Angami, nor uh, just a ringma, not, nothing. Mm. So what was the language in which you have communicated? Okay. Mm. Then I, I don't know. Then you have failed in four subjects. Okay. Fifthly, I'll ask one thing. Okay. If it was a sovereign country, then we should have standing army, we should have at least a relationship with Assam, like this, like this, okay. and we should have coin also. Uh, whether you have any idea, no, no. that when you have failed in five subjects, okay. and I have only written this uh -huh. in order to make you to research. Okay. But instead of understanding mm. Mm, positively, you have accepted negatively. Mm -hmm. Since you have failed, I'm not going to withdraw. Okay. So I, it is there. Okay. But let me also bring you some perspective on yeah. that. By that same logic, yeah. India did not even have the country as an India. It was a formation of a princely Brazil, states. But they have kingdom. They had different the, princely the, states the, the and kingdoms. Kingdom. They have yes. kingdom, yeah. Mm. And they have coin. They have administration. Mm. The they, have standing, they have standing army. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Everything is there. The court is there. Mm. But we are only cutting our head only. Yeah, Nakas were. Yeah. Like Even during, during our time, mm. Pangsha Tawa, Sampo Tawa, mm. uh, we, if we read Indian history, which yeah. you know better, mm -hmm. the princely states, they also fought them against themselves yes, like anything. They but, were also cutting But it was head. a civilized one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. How do you justify that? <laughs> yes. They used gun weapon like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were only Tao. Yeah. Only Tao. Right. That also, mm. actually it is only for, not for uh, this, uh, this subjugating. Mm -hmm. 
whenever you want to have some uh, festival, okay. you want the human head. Yeah. They go there. It's a like trophy. It. Yeah. It's a trophy. It was not for governors, not okay. for that. Uh. So regardless of um, people trying to hurt you and harm you in different ways, you all, you know, all those attempts or all those activities against you, I think you kind of outpowered them. Why did you think those happen? Because humanly, sometimes I think it's not possible. Even Dumweba on that day, okay. I said. When you met him in Delhi? Yeah, yeah. That day I told him, if Mweba is killed, what benefit Naga people will kill? Mm -hmm. But you want to kill me four times, I told him. Mm. But I have forgiven because God has saved me. Okay. In Pukupu meeting, I have openly announced that from my side, there will be nothing. Okay. So from my side, there is no revenge. Mm. I told him also. Mm. Okay. Even in the court in Delhi, mm. when I was also asked, I said, no, I have already uh, forgiven them, so I don't have to record my statement. Okay. I told them. Okay. So let's say Muiva, as Dr. S. Jamir, you all are elders and the leaders of Nagas from since you know, the beginning of the consciousness of Naga identity until today. So you, the youngsters look up to you all as some sort of an idol or some sort of an icons as a leader. If given a chance, would you meet anyone again to reconcile? Naturally, actually, mm. I don't have any enmity against anybody. Yes. Because I told them that day, okay. I have already forgiven mm -hmm. for what you have done to me. Mm -hmm. because I, I'm quite open because mm. we had to be very grateful to God. True. true. It is God who has saved me. Mm.